Hmm? Is that Yui and Kaimaru over there? Ah, nah. I don't know nothing about that. It ain't your ma or your sis. You seem upset. What happened? Well, people ain't gonna listen to you just because you yell and act all spoiled, you know? Yeah. Well. <laughs> uh, wait, Kaimaru. What are you doing, Yui? Run after him. Ugh, but... Why do you hesitate? If you let him go, you may never see him again. I promise to protect you all, so, so you are coming with me to bring Kaimaru back. Uh-oh. Okay, so we're going to be following along this line. Well, hey guys, welcome back. Oh, it's been a, a busy start to the episode. So welcome back to Sakuna. We are, as you know, running after Kaimaru. Hmm... It says to search for him outside the mountain pass. Oh, this is this is him. So he must be in the cylindric cabin. Huh. Let's see. Back off, Wabbit. Not that we really need more clay. Back it up, buddy. Oh, that's what she said. Goddess, something's there. I could sweep through these small fry with one hand tied behind my back. Now come at me. I can't believe it. I think what Sukuna was saying when I accidentally flicked through is that she could have sworn that he was here, but he's not. This is getting absurd. Just how many of these weaklings are there? Ah, uh, over there as well, Yui. <gasps> oh, thank God he didn't hit the poop. Oh my sweet lord! Oh my God! Wow, I am hypnotized. By all of the floofs. <gasps> wow. Sasa, Ui, Kaimaru. I'm grateful. We came to save you, and <laughs> yet we were the ones who ended up being saved instead. Hmm. Yui, you have something to say. Oh. Thank you. And I'm really sorry for saying some mean things. Yeah, Ui. There, there. You're a fine boy, Kaimaru. I am proud of you. But please do not quarrel again. I beg of you. Hee <laughs> hee, you got it, goddess. Yay. <gasps> Who could be angry with all those flukes? Stupid birds. Well, guess where I know I'm gonna, who I'm going to practice on. Huh? Hey, you asshole. Come here. Huh. You done? Alright, practice time. <laughs> Just kind of like spamming it, decreasing everyone's defense. And we're done. So many of them, it's kind of difficult to catch the right bird. My goodness, how many of you have to do it? I just want to increase my proficiency like a little bit, please. 
Alright, well let's head back on home to all of our new floofs. Where are they? I hope all of them are here. <laughs> all of them. Okay, Myron. Where are the rest of them? They came home with you, didn't they? One floof. This definitely does not look like a place full of floofs. Hmm. Maybe we'll find more of them later. Give me a spread this fertilizer. Make another batch. Alright. Throw in a couple things. I forgot the fertilizer for a few days, so everything is kind of struggling. So, additional components. Use one of each of these. Do I have something to use as a pesticide? Some garlic, maybe? Can Freshman do something? Alright, Freshman also works as a pesticide. Hmm. Yeah, I think that's good for now. Hopefully this will help us out of it. Um, I want to reduce the water. Because I did read in a scroll that for like better quality rice, like less quantity, more for the stack rice, you want to keep the water low in this like this phase. Let's check. Yeah. They're sick. Uh, we have some stuff brewing for them. Hmm. Bet you could find tons of ore in the volcano, but food, not so much. I guess we gotta go out and gather Want stuff me to ourselves. Make something? Ooh, we've unlocked the tusk pickaxe. Okay, we need more boar tusks for that. When obtaining ores, your yield will be increased. Hmm, does a bit more damage too, but I mean, it's nothing amazing to be honest. Should I make something, Goddess? Okay, and we do have something else new here. It decreases your damage taken by fifteen percent. Extends stun duration. Extends the window of time to parry. Okay, I don't know if that last ingredient matter. I don't know what that is. I know where to get the black deer leather though. Hmm. I mean, this one does seem more appealing. Yeah, especially now that we're out of the water area, we don't really need the water garment. But we currently have. Hmm, wine and water. Are we current we are currently fighting in water. It's like it's just poisonous water. I think. This one's interesting. Increases strength in winter. Hmm. Yeah. 
Yeah, I think we're good. Although, this one we could unlock. Because we are still in the water. So I think we will do that. Yeah. Alright, I have no idea how to check like how many of these um there we go, spirit bows. Oh we've got quite a few actually. Huh. Maybe you need to pick up like the right spirit bow for the job, you know? Huh. Interesting. Release level. Hmm. Okay. Give the rice another once over. More weeds. Where is this water level though? Because this looks very low now. 13. Hmm. Maybe just up to 15. So I don't feel bad. Uh, I think, I wonder if reducing the water also like helps with fighting some of the problems. Might do. Okay. I don't see any more frogs and stuff. So let us go check. Hmm. Let's do the bounty so it's grotto again. Just gotta keep doing it until we get the flip and salt. I think this place will get sick of us and just give us the salt. Yeah. Alright, that I'm definitely going to look up. I want to see if there's something else going on there. Okay. Make something? Okay, something new to process maybe. Sparrows, sure. Okay, dinner. Time to eat. Yes, I do. Not bad. Uh, well. Uh. Food always looks so yummy. <laughs> I glad it turned out good. <laughs> they all seem happy with this it. Is heavenly. Let us rest until morning. Okay. Good. Before it says it's ready to harvest. So I'm a little worried that it's going to come in too early. I'm going to put the fertilizer in. I think it has had a bit of a bad go of things. So it might take a little bit longer to be ready. Let's see. What's the situation? Yeah, rice bites pretty bad. Um hmm. the ears have appeared. So it is sprouting. Okay, maybe we should mix up something. Just in case we can add more fertilizer tomorrow. I don't want to waste kernel fertilizer. I mean, the amber can't enhance anything if we don't use something. We use one of each. Yeah. Then, for additional components, use something natural. Alright. That is what we're going to go with. Oh, well that dried out very quickly. Can't be having that. Hmm, I guess we'll do the water level around 15 again. Ok, 
Okay, well, all these seem to be getting better. Ah, yes, everything is getting better. The fertilizer is kicking in. Okay, great. Where's that whole herd of animals that he brought? I want them to come back. Aww. Well then. Hmm. I'm wondering... I'm gonna test this place out again. I wanna see if we need the, um... The... Wait, I wanna see the location objectives. I think I missed something. Main... Okay, exploration. Defeat enemies, attribute strike. Okay. So I think that just that just has to do with our weapon, right? Yeah. So our, we have to if we defeat them with our two-handed weapon. Um Yeah. We don't have a Oh the Jade Mallet is also strike. Okay. Well, I guess that's kind of a glitch technically because we change his attribute to magic so it's actually um it's actually magic and this two-handed one that is the um what do you call that that's the strike weapon all right what if we touch the water I mean, it's definitely doing environment damage. We're wearing the black mask. Yes. Yeah. Over here. Hey. Gotcha. Here I here. Hey. Oh, and he has arrived. Well, I'll wait till tomorrow. Up, up. Look. You guys suck, by the way. You're very annoying. Just thought I would let you know that. <laughs> I'm trying to let this charge up a bit so that we can get the um, strike kills. There we go. Oh. It's a weird sound. I didn't like it. Ah, that is matter. Be fun. Come out of the water, please. Fight me over here. Yeah, man. Hmm. Yeah, some of the skills, you definitely think you need to, like, level up the proficiency to be able to, like, to weaken them with the raiment. Up here, please. Okay, I guess we'll... Whoa. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. You missed. Okay, well, you're, you know, you're like almost dead, so like, come here. Mmm, that's supposed to suck. Okay. Well done. Can I move on? Thank you. Doo -doo. Okay, well, there's also a little spot there where I can stand, so that's good. Oh. 
Come on, hit him with something. Okay, you're all dead. All dead. Okay. Three, two, one. Oh. <laughs> I wanted to go through here. Ding, 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 ding. Okay. Not worth it. Okay, I do kind of remember the spot. Hi, bird. Can I get. Thank you. Can I get a lift? Okay. Don't want to fall down here. You guys will just give me a little bit of space. Thanks. Bonk. <laughs> yeah, if y'all can just fall off, that would be great. Hi, bird. Can I get a lift? Not like that. <gasps> no! Okay. Vitality flakes. Well, that is the way out. Waterland Hill. Crimson Spring. Where to? Hmm. Let's go here. It's a gathering spot. We'll do this to power down the day. Do do. Oh. Can I get up, please? Pretty please. Hmm. Okay. It's a little tricky. But we got more obsidian. Okay. Ooh. Loads of nice fertilizer stuff. Got some matter too. Okay, to the world map. Wow. Nice gathering spot for us to bring people to. What are the location objectives here? Exit, get amber, and get treasure. Hmm. Alright. Well, home we must go. In the morning, we have another rice harvest to look up to look forward to. Alright, well, we'll drain it. Uh, I think it's a uh, it's a little late now. To be harvesting, maybe we won't drain it. Maybe we'll add just a smidge of water, to, like keep it hydrated. One percent. <laughs> okay. There we go. I don't know. I don't know if we should, you know, leave it with zero water. Okay. I make something. Did we pick up anything interesting? Not particularly, right? Nah. Okay. Dinner time. Mmm, liquor. Mmm, acorn broth, water, roasted acorns. Nice. Seems quite vegan, <laughs> I guess. Ooh, fighting skill, mirror of purification. Let's have a look at that quickly. Because wearing Halo hasn't quite been doing it for me. Ooh, unleash a torrential force with your 200 weapon. With higher proficiency, you will be able to make more waves. Wow. Okay. Assume a defensive stance. Hold it until an enemy attacks. Then reflect back at them with your two-handed weapon. Huh. That sounds quite interesting too. Hmm. Oh, I don't think we've tried this one. Stab your two-handed weapon down, emitting a shockwave mid-air to damage enemies as you descend. Swiftly cut in the direction you choose through one-handed weapon. 
turn around furiously flinging enemies caught in your wake. I think... I want to try this one. And now... So these aren't proficiency based. Mm, okay, what did what was that quest for the boar? It said... Did it say weaken? Okay, because this like, reduces that. Absorb grapple opponent's health to restore your own HP. I like that. Afflict a grapple opponent with steadily damage effect. I think let's swap out these two. So, we'll swap out, take soul transfer, temporarily lower grapple opponent's movement speed. You see, this one actually specifically has the ball on it interesting oh I'm trying to identify the enemy in this picture it looks like a new one that we haven't seen right yeah okay and then we'll take crop toxic crop for that one and yeah we'll see how those work oh didn't did we miss the mirror purification skill I feel like I, I completely space Oh, that was the defensive stance. Cool. Alright, and it is unfortunately a rainy day. Um, okay, look, buddy, we need to talk about this weather. Here we go! Hmm. Alright, it should dry. It should. All right. Yep, oh, it's time. All right, well, the rice is harvested and out to dry. Unfortunately, it is raining. <laughs> I'm really hoping that uh, it doesn't rain the whole time. Otherwise, we're gonna be in big trouble. This year's harvest was splendid indeed. To think we once struggled so desperately. Yes, those cattle went above and beyond. Their debt is wholly repaid, to be sure. Perhaps I'll give them a token of my thanks. I believe Kappa have a taste for cucumbers. Cucumbers, you say? The ones that grow on this island are too bitter to be given as gifts. Why not sell your excess rice and buy some cucumbers from the capital? Ah, a fantastic idea! I seem to gain power when the rice is clean. So if we find ourselves with more than we can eat, selling what remains is a smart option. Lady Kamahitsugi is sure to be pleased as well. For my part, I will make arrangements with our contacts in the capital. We will need to put a brand on the rice. A brand? That could prove difficult. Let us gather up, everyone. It may be easier to think of something if we put our heads together. Well, it was harvested here on Hinoi, so just call it Hinoi rice or whatever. Too obvious! Next! What about Fruit of Diligent Study? 
This name tells the story of a group who overcame every hardship in a distant and unfamiliar land to build a fortune in rice. Too convoluted. <laughs> Make it simpler. Next. Um, a goddess made it, so how about godly rice? The ones buying it are also gods. Next. Sakuna Antemba. I have no clue what you're saying. Next. Um, what Mietza just said, that's Sakuna untem Untembar, it means untamable. <laughs> Quit relying on us and think of something yourself then. Ah, uh, true. I was foolish to rely on peasants for an intellectual task like this. I am a master wordsmith after reading all 1200 volumes of Oborozuki Koshi's A Tale of Unrequited Love. Hmm. Our race is clearly the best in all the lofty realms. Should have the word heavenly in it. Heavenly rice. That's it. How about revered ears of heaven? Hmm? Oh, yeah, they are. <laughs> what? Revered ears, huh? Not bad. It's easy to remember. I like it too. Ugh. How dare you? Revered ears is fine. It may not sound agricultural, but it has a certain ring to it. Such a brand suits you perfectly, Lady Sakuna. Y you think so? Well, in that case, I suppose I can make peace with it. Henceforth, our rice will be sold in the capital as revered ears. Now we can obtain items that are not endemic to this island. Ooh. Yeah! <laughs> Something about the way this played out makes me feel like I was steamrolled. <laughs> That's her idea. Mm. That is all. Everything is proceeding smoothly, and the capital security shall be unshakable at the dawn of its completion. All shall be as you desire, Lady Kamohitsuki. Splendid work, Princess Kogoroa. Your report has surpassed my expectations. The other gods sing your praises as well. Hereafter, I will leave this matter entirely in your hands. If you require funds or resources, you may request them without hesitation. Yes, my lady. My gratitude is boundless. Still, to think you had such finesse hidden within you, have you been skulking about in someone else's shadow this entire time? No, I cannot attribute my previous impression to anything but my own shortcomings. I see. All has turned out for the better, so I can scarcely object to your growth. You are dismissed. It is time for my meal. I eagerly await the revered ears Princess Sakuna has been sending as of late. The brand is esteemed throughout the capital when we luxuriate in wealth. That abundance extends even to the lowly realm. Such is the work of the gods. Sakunas? Hmm. Lady Kamohitsuki, I apologize, but there is one more thing I would like to test. Oh, welcome back. You have a guest. Hmm? A god from the capital? What do they want? Well, I am unfamiliar with their dialect, so I'm afraid I could not say. <laughs> it's been quite some time, old friend. Have you been in good health? This one's ilk are accomplished guardians. But speaking is less their forte. I shall interpret. It seems something has happened at the capital. A new brand of rice is competing with ours in the capital, you say? Oh, now that is interesting. Less interesting and more beggar's belief. The lofty realm continues to reap the same inferior harvest as ever. For a long time now, the harvest gods have solely grown beans or barley with only enough rice to fulfill Lady Kamahitsuki's tribute. 
Which is exactly why you were able to maintain your status merely by offering your mother superior rice stoves. Oh, well, let us leave past transgressions be. In any case, I cannot fathom how any of their rights could compete with our revered ears. Is this the rice in question? Hey, big guy! Come and cook it! Hmm. Hmm. This is more than just similar. This is our revered ears, is it not? So it seems. What is the meaning of this? Ours is delicious. But... This batch has a... Peculiar aftertaste. Precisely. So you noticed too. Those who buy this rice are struck by its aftertaste, compelling them to eat it to the exclusion of all other varieties. This is beginning to sound sinister. The seeds, soil, and water all contribute to the flavor of rice. It is therefore impossible to create the same flavor in different lands. In other words, this rice is our revered ears, but altered in some mysterious way. Looking closer, there are tiny grains of another rice mixed in. There must be some trick to that. Who would do such an underhanded thing? Who made this rice? Princess Kokoroa? Mm. You have had a long, arduous journey. Thank you for telling us of the rice. Tama, I'm returning to the capital. Uh, but, Princess, what of Lady Kamuhitsuki's edict? I know full well what I'm doing. Kokoroa is my one and only friend. I cannot rest unless I question her in person. I understand, Princess. But you must not allow your presence to be discovered. Can you promise that you will sneak in, finish your business, and then come straight back here? I have your blessing, then? Yes! I vow to come right back! <sighs> now, back out of the way. This one shall guide you. Once you are prepared, speak with him. Alright guys, well, we're going to end this part off over here. I hope that you enjoyed. If you did, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I hope to see you in the next one where we go off to the capital. Bye guys.